uh, and we talk about the four metaphors. And the Buddha says, noble one, you should think of the yourself as someone who is sick, of the Dharma as the remedy, of your spiritual teacher as the skillful doctor, and of the diligent practice as the way to recovery. <laughs> And uh, also, this is not really uh, in the uh, Dharma perspective, in the Buddha's teachings perspective. And this is not really only in the religious perspective. Maybe, may we think, oh, we need to consider like this, why we need to do like this. But it's not like this, we would say. Mm, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, it's the according the humanities. And whoever to teach us something taught, it is, doesn't matter like basic education or advantageous education or academic education and any kind of teachers and uh, give to our teachers knowledge. And uh, therefore, we need to respect, we need to appreciate very much and sometimes in our, how do you say, so, uh, according to the culture, uh, like uh, I studied a little bit part of the, you know, the science. There's a very famous Greek scientist, what his name is? I forgot it. The Greek, the first science. science. Uh, yeah, something, as it doesn't matter. And he has a very, uh, how do you say, it's like a very learned student. And uh, then is when student is become the really advantageous, and then student criticize. And when I was university, I studied it, but they discovered, my discovered is different. I discovered more than, better than this. And they are a little bit kind of wrong, so like this. And uh, this is like, a, we would say it's like a, uh, a little bit in the really is the humanities. And uh, maybe it's like a, not necessarily to say if you discovered something new and uh, not necessarily to give the like and provide this everybody in the schools and your books, your like kind of shastas. Then maybe the people is to recognize the word. And, uh, if you are like not your teacher, it's not your like professor, and if you are not to get your own knowledge from this teacher, and then it's okay, you can to be challenged, you can to argue, and it's like you receive all your knowledge, education from these teachers, and then after it's like you are revenge, something is reward, it is not negative things, it's not very good, therefore, and uh, it is very important to any kind of education and uh, to say, okay, I need education and the teacher has this knowledge and to really to uh, properly how I can to get teacher's knowledge and uh, I need to trust teacher, any kind of teacher. Then it's a kind of the trust, kind of good relationships. And then it's the advice or the pit instructions or any kind of the education is coming direct like this. And uh, therefore, it's a, uh, this four meta force is very important. I don't know, it's in our, the temple is a lot of allergies, yes? When they're coming here? Huh? Huh? Okay, good. No. Like this, um, this is uh, we used to study how we can to become good persons. It really, is uh, when we go to the any kind of at school, university or the like elementary school or the Buddhist school schools, some good student, some good student has good how do you say humility. They all the time respect to the teacher, school student. If someone is very arrogant, someone is very much proud, they never kind of respect to the teacher and the school, and then a lot of kind of problems is coming. But it's not very nice that. Therefore, in the, Buddhist, the Buddha's teach, teaching perspective, 
And yesterday we said, why we need to practice the Dharma? Because we are like kind of the doing something is very important, future goals. Future goal, it is like the enlightenment. Future goal is like we need to successful our minds. Become the more learned, become the more compassion, become the more high state. And if we achieve like this state, and then we can to help to other sentient beings. And also in the Buddhist perspective, we can to say, okay, in temporarily, we are honestly, we are like really truthfully, truthfully rely on the and uh, compassion sentient beings, like compassion beings, like a Buddha, Bodhisattva, different deity, even that is like we can to the teachers. And uh, maybe it's the, your own perspective and uh, you are rely on because you perceive the teacher has compassion. And also it's like um, we rely on the humans, take a kind of refuge in the teacher, in the sanghas. Why? Because of the compassion. And the temporarily they can to support, they can give to conditions. Through this, to work, cooperating together, and then we are doing the something very important, future goals. And uh, therefore, for example, in the, the explanation of the, the refuge vows, and when you take refuge in Buddha and Dharma Sangha, it is like outer refuge source is the Buddha Dharma Sangha, that is the relatives. And when you are coming across the ocean of the samsara, and then the, this ocean need a special boat, special captain, special need passengers. Then otherwise, if not very good boat, and we cannot cross the specific ocean or the oceans. And if the captain is not very good, maybe drive very bad to crash it in the sea. And also if the passenger is not very good, and then it's like something in the inside killing each other. Therefore, we as the army taking refugees, the, from the, this, this shore of the samsara to the other shore of the nirvana. Then I need the special boat, special vehicle, like a kind of the, the dharma boat. It's like this craft, like boat craft, and we board into the, this boat, and then we need good captains, not any uneducated captain. That is, we hope, compassionate wisdom and uh, uh, enlightened. Therefore, we take in refuge this. And then also we are taking refuge the passenger of the sanghas, because sanghas is like a kind of practice, compassion, taking res like a kind of respect to the others. And also it's like they concerning, it's like a, at least, you know, at least they concern both benefit. Of course, great compassionate concern only the benefit for others, but it's like uh, some, even the like, uh, lesser compassions, they need to think about both, how we are both to safely coming across this ocean of the samsara. And like this, then is if the passengers concern like this, then in the, the journey, it's more safe. And uh, like this, they, therefore, we are, like uh, this metaphor is quite really very important. It is a really truth. This is what we do like this in very much human qualities uh, and therefore. And then it's like, of course, we're talking about the, the now studying this word of my perfect teacher. And uh, it has a three chapter and uh, outer preliminary, like uh, ordinary preliminary practice. And then is the inner preliminary practice, we call the extraordinary preliminary practice. And then is the sweet path. And the main part of the, is the transferent, is the poor part. Now we are start the outer, the ordinary preliminary practice. And uh, it, is, uh, it has the sixth chapter. And then we are on the first chapter. And the first chapter, it has like kind of the prologue and the first how to listen to the teachings and how we can need, which kind of do we need attitude, conduct, 
And this also is wonderful. I appreciate very much you studied very well. Please, to change your attitude. Please, I'm begging to you, change the, your conduct. And attitude and conduct, you change, you, you become the more happy, you become the very kind to others. If your attitude very arrogant, very proud, and your conduct is very arrogant way, proud like this, and okay, it's the, but it's, a, it's nobody's enjoy with you. That is the point. And uh, also you can to be there, it's like we normally say, oh, I'm a democratic country, I'm not depends to you, and why I need to more like respect it. But okay, but then it's a lot of problems. Then reality really to look our mind to you, know, you all the time is searching for the good friend. You all the time is searching is like kind of good partner, good family. If someone's to say bonjour, comment ça va, kindly, then how much you are happy. If someone's a little bit showing aggressive way, you also is how much you suffering, how much you are sad, and therefore exactly to the others. Why not? to change attitude, change the conduct. There is the example in the first prologues. They like kind of the first, the preparatory, or the like preparations, the, the beginning, how to listen dharma properly. This is to the listen dharma, but this is the general the attitude and conduct. And also the attitude, vast attitude, compassionate and a skillful attitude, wisdom, special methods, and more respect to the others. And it's wonderful, it is like both sides. And then it's conduct, negative conduct, positive conduct, and negative also we can to understand. Ah, this movement of the, my conduct is a negative, defect. I don't want to avoid, why not? It's the benefit for ourselves. And uh, it we can to say, you know, I'm all the time to saying that too respectful and respect, like kind of bows to say, and uh, like kind of the respect. If you go to the, in Japan, they said, arigato, sir. If you go to in China, it's like, ah, shashi, sir. In Tibet, it's everybody's doing like this. In Europe, you know, mm. and you know, it's, <laughs> Why you, you do like this, you know? For example, there is, a, in, the, our, in the European perspective, I'm quoting the two science, okay? First science, it is the more mentalisms, because they believe that the earth is in the middle of the, our solar systems. Quoting that, and to respect to the others, more connected to the religious. Why it is that? Because it's we respect to the others, uh, why? because maybe others to give to us something, power, strength, liberation, and maybe some property, and something like this. You have a power, you have strength, you are rich, and I'm taking refuge, please, yes, then this we bow. And uh, this is like a kind of, the, we believe strength or the power strength, others. And uh, this is the science, the first science and more mentalisms. And then is the second is that we are like kind of respect to others. It is the brainism. It's a modern uh, science. And this also you go to the, in the business areas. Some is like very important areas. Also they are respect kind of, you know, that means, you know, there is one person saying it's like, and he, his company is very successful. He is one person is sending to in China. And before this person go to China, he said, what I need to learn something. Is, ah, you should to learn the their cultures. And even when you give the business card, never give like this. You should to give like this. And also when you, they give to you, you should to take like this. This is a kind of respect. This is a religious, no. And in order to your business to be successful, 
if you say, okay, this is my business, okay, yeah, the other one automatically angry, maybe doesn't want to cooperate you. Very strange, we don't want to, you know, our trade mark, ma market, no, 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 no. They are very arrogant. They are very like kind of business, you know, and we don't want to cooperate. Then your business, therefore, boss say, you should to respect to the others. And other ones, why? Because you, our company need to business. Like this, in the, you know, if the, you go to the, in the, some specific, in the business class, and they invited you in the, the restaurant. You should to eat very like educated way. Sometimes companies interviews, the first time offer it to you food, give you tea and food. Then they look how you eat. You just to eat like crazy way in the, uh, my way. Then they say, no, no, don't give job because no educators. If you very elegantly, respectfully, you eat, I think education there's look, we can give jobs. Like this, it's like uh, also to respect is such benefit for ourselves. And uh, we can to say it's like uh, something is like prostating to make nice, to bows to others. We never lose any bad, good qualities, 100% to respect to the others, 100%. For example, in the, they look in Tibet, the Must Holiness, the Dalai Lama. He all the time the respect and to others, and it is the amazing way. And then people love, then people like very much, if holiness, oh, I'm holiness, and like uh, Dalai Lama, like can't sit and very arrogant, you know, who can to take care? Maybe many people doesn't want to follow. And he's very humble, wearing cloth, even the like shoes, sometimes Japanese. It's amazing, for example, myself, you know, first time I visited the holiness and when I come from Tibet, you know, a little bit Tibetan is the Lamaism. It's like the truth. Sometimes Lamas are very much wearing very expensive clothes, coming many, you know, music and a little bit. Then I thought holiness, of course. I visited in Dharamsala and 500 refugees first time came. And nearby me, there is one my cousin. I told him, say, when is holiness coming? the front, maybe we are going to cry. He said, why? Stupid, why you need to cry? Said, okay. And then we are expecting that maybe like something, you know, guardians and servers are coming together. We are thinking, but they are nothing to preparing. And bring to in the stage, there is one normal armchair. Bring to put there. I thought maybe some, you know, Tibet government leaders coming to theirs, maybe first time they want to talk. And then we're looking, and then suddenly in, this, in the corridor, there's opened. And then we look, there's one monk is coming out. Looks like holiness. And I said, maybe this is holiness. And then it's coming to the knee, and he looked, of course, holiness. And then it's like this, uh, like a kind of humility. Humble is to showing, it's happiness is natural is coming. And he's coming to, in the, to sit in the chair, and he said, hi, Tashi Dele. So all five people said, it's a cry. And, <laughs> and he's laughing, don't cry, don't cry. And then I look at this, my cousin, he's also cried. Said, don't cry. <laughs> It's a, if he is like coming to there is a very, you know, it's a, the guardians, many armies and uh, preparations, and probably not much surprise. But very much humbly is to come, it's more touched to the heart, you know. It is like this, it is, it's if we kind of to respect, it is a such and such a benefit. For example, these days, you know, these times here we came to sit here, you know, we are this year or last year, it's lucky, Allah Zanka Rinpochans. And he is the most, most, most famous master in Tibet. But his life is all the time is taken by humble, you know, law provided. And now more and more people love him very, very much. 
extreme, like first battle of Then Then it's like his respect all, all the times and to take, and he says, let you ask Rinpoche, would you give teach them? No, I'm very stupid things. He all the time is humble to respect to the others. And then love is coming. You know, it's like people automatic. Therefore, even it's like ourselves to a little bit to respect to others, to more changing the attitude, conduct. And really in the future, 100% is like you, you helping to the sentient beings, hundred percent. Even the, your families, how much you become happy, how much and appreciate your changing process of the attitude and conduct. And therefore, now it's like uh, we are talking this, and then is the main chapter is talking about the human existence, and also this is the very very important. We need to appreciate this human existence. It's a wonderful, this is precious. And what, since we got this, uh, this precious human existence, we have such kind of facility, such there's ability, such qualities, and we have such a chance if we use properly in these human qualities, and it's really marvelous. Of course, we are counted, there are the freedoms and advantages. Together, there's 34 human qualities. All of them are is endowed within our life. We are most richest, we are most happiest human existence. Then these things, and also like kind of when we obtain this, and why we need to concern is some small things, you know. It is not really necessary. It's it sometimes it's, a, it's amazing, amazing. For example, in like my, my own experience, when I was in Tibet, of course, it's like my family is a very poor family. And sometimes it's like shatters problems, and the food is problems, and the cloth is problems. And really, it's like sometimes to digging, you know, under the like rock cave and the trees. And also sometimes like we make very awful like chalice. And inside the wind and the snow is coming. And we haven't got properly kind of a cloth, properly food. But we have a little bit to food, nice food. We enjoyed very much. And one is, I got, first time I got one is, a, no, I think I was one and three, I got one Chinese sleep bag, you know. And first time I slept, wow, so marvelous, wonderful. Sleep. And like this, and now, even the most expensive, you know, is like sleep bag, matches is the most. Still is not, you know, ah, it's difficult to sleep. So. It's a human, it's, it's amazing, never appreciate that it's like uh, uh, we, it's more to have advantages, the more like kind of the conditions good, we need to recognize, we need to just, like this, 